Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are in Satisfactory again today. We're gonna pick up where we left off yesterday. We had just started the Sunstreaker circuit board factory and uh, it's gonna also make computers and AI limiters and I need to work out some of the logistics for that. So that's where we are. And uh, we've had a busy couple of days, but it's been going well. We've got the Mirage train all decorated. We added a, um, a separate uh, single line hover platform and we have uh, some dif different design choices that we've made uh, that should make this a lot easier. Uh, I think the challenging thing today is going to be the logistics and try to make sure that this factory is something that we can walk around and, and move around and have it look cool as well as be functional. And I want to focus on the axis down the middle of the factory. And I'm kind of just going to shoot from the hip on the logistics once we figure out like how everything is going to flow. So I'm probably going to have to do some spreadsheet work. Uh, we do have a, a satisfactory tools page that we looked at before to give me like a rough idea of what I need. And uh, I may have to go back and refer to that. But uh, I, I do like to do the production with some rounder numbers. And we can always use an awesome sync to kind of offshoot stuff into, uh, into the garbage if we need to to keep things balanced and moving. Uh, first thing, though, I want to find some summer sloop uh, because I feel like we can probably get a lot more out of our summer sloop by uh, 2xing production and we might be able to get through phase three a lot faster if we can amp the um what are the, what's left the not the augmenter what what are they called adaptive control units are the last thing we have to do m blast jordan uh penguin dude good to see y'all hope you're having a, a good one dan hello hello mind trip media thank you very much for the lurk and the 100 bits i very much appreciate it very cool of you. I think those were dropped during the starting soon screen. So we might as well just jump right back over. And get into the game. Nighttime. Okay, what can we do? I need to go to the man and see what we need for unlocking the alien technology. I need one summer, summer sloop. I've got the circuit boards. Oh, I can probably undo that. I can probably unlock that right now. We'll have to go get more summer sloop, but I have the summer the one to do it so I'll need to go get two more and I think I have a hundred of those I might not have quite a hundred we'll see noticing some places in here that's lacking lighting as well uh, I do not have a hundred I have one so we should make those those are made in a manufacturer we have a spare manufacturer over here doing computers at the moment we can switch that. Uh, needs wire, steel pipe, and reanimated sand. Gonna make 25 per minute. Now I don't have any bins connected on the other side here. It's just straight. So I may actually want to temporarily add a couple of bins here to do that. Um, that is not gonna fit nicely. This is something we have to like think about and potentially automate somehow. It's not in the best position. We may have to set this up. So this other one down here, I think I have them lined up. I don't remember. Oh, no, not even close. Okay. So this one, we can maybe adjust its position to be in a better spot to receive things automatically. Um, for now, though, we can probably just use this. Does this line up by chance? This is pro unintentionally, but I may have... Uh, 
I may have this lined up. Not quite. And I don't think you can do these next to each other. No, you can't. So we'd have to do it side by side. Might as well just use single bins. Easier. Not the straightest. Uh, what were the two things that this would need? Sam. I think the next biggest thing is wire. Yes. I wish we could dim our uh, our headlamp. It's always so bright. And then pipes we can just put maybe over here. Love have a constant flow of stuff now because we can really just dump all kinds of resources into automatic crafting and have this fill up. So we're at 17, 18. Sweet. This will be set up in no time. Our Syrian, hello. Good to see you. Welcome in. Yeah, I logged in to look around a little bit before the stream and I purposely let it get to nighttime so that my first hour on stream would be more in the day. What I really want, I think I've mentioned this before, I would love a clock. I feel like in a game that's like digital sci-fi, the fact that we don't have a clock is weird. Uh, summer sleep. So I've got the circuit boards, I just need the 100 those I can probably it might be easiest just to let this go yeah okay take a couple minutes uh, is there anything else in the ma'am that I need to unlock that I can unlock and equipment slot not dire that's a late game thing. Stack size would be good. I can 100% unlock that. Sweet Sandy, hello, hello. How's life in Puppyville? We're getting to the point where circuit priority is probably going to be a good thing. Power 
Polmark 3 unlocked. I want that logo, and I can't find it online anywhere. connections compared to the previous models. Extra power. Um. Ah, yes. I see you have embraced the dark side. Here are your cookies. That penguin dude, thank you very much for the 200 bits and the Darth Vader TTS sticker. Very kind of you. Uh, also, that's pretty funny. I get cookies. I like cookies. Now I want cookies. I have coffee and I have no cookies. 500 quick wire, priority power switch, and power switches. So we need AI limiters and... I don't know that I have actual AI limiters. I think I have... What are the things that I'm working on? High-speed connectors is what I was making. I thought I was going to make AI limiters. Yeah, okay. What are... What are those used in? I think AI limiters are in smart splitters. Uh, yeah, programmable splitter, smart splitter, power switch, like control panel. Okay, but what are high-speed connectors used in? Oh, radio control units. Drones, priority power switches. Okay, so the AI limiters are definitely the ones we want to auto craft at the other facility. That's fine. Okay, I was confused for a second. Uh, do I have AI limiters kicking around over here? Is the question. Does not look like it. Sixty-three, we're getting there. So I need I need to make a crafting bench here. That's what I need to do. So we're going to make these automatically at the other location. Joel, quick question. I find when I'm building, I tend to build as close to the ore nodes as possible so that the miner can be in the building, but then I pump up against cliffs, etc. Do you just pump your ore from the mining spots to the builds in that area or more open areas? Um, it depends on the build. So in the build that we're about to work on, I decided to pull from outside of the build. I could pull from inside, but it, I didn't like the design. Um, so you can do both. One of the things to consider is what is the condensed rate of the ore. So a good example is um, if you have Caterium, I think it's a third. So it goes from 45 Caterium ore to 15 Caterium ingots. So that's not a lot to move if you have to transport it. So that might be a good example of smelting everything next to the miner and then moving the ingots to wherever your factory wants to go. Belt, train, truck, whatever you want to do. Uh, the other thing to consider is stuff that's a pain in the butt to move. So like plastic, for example, you're going to want to build a plastic plant probably next to oil because oil liquids are just a, are a giant pain to move great distances. You'd be better off to move the plastic and the rubber and other things like packaged fuel, that kind of stuff. You could always package the oil and move it that way too.
Oh, I need the M. I need the, uh... What are these called? Sand fluctuators. We're almost there. Yeah, so if I grab a smelter... So iron is 30 ore to 30 ingots, so it really doesn't matter, right? It's the same in, the same out. Caterium, though, is 45 to 15. So you can take a lot of caterium and condense it down. And then on the other side of that, though, if you look at quickwire, you don't want to move quickwire around because if you look at the constructor and you look at quickwire, it takes 12 and turns it into 60. So... You, you want to move the ingots, not the quick wire. The quick wire you want to be making where you need it, and the caterium you want to be making um, on site or near the thing. I mean, if if that's a concern. If it's cooler to bring the ore around, then I mean, hey, why not, right? Um, I find it it's something that you can just do. I mean, like, I didn't need to build the iron hide smelter. I just wanted to get 900 iron going so I didn't have to think about it, right? There's the 100. I'll let that craft up the rest. So what this is going to do is allow us to double the output of our machines without increasing the input. Production amplifier unlocked. Every single manufacturing and smelting building will be backwards compatible with this new technology. These buildings can now have a summer sloop embedded to increase resource output without requiring more input, at the cost of greatly increased power consumption. Flow cycles within flow cycles make explosions into temples and explosions into temples. The spin sphere of woven windows. Each tiny body contains tinier bodies until the line layers fold into curves, which folds into threads, which weave the tapestry. A song of light and leaf and flower, a dance of matter clouds, and... I think they're trying to explain energy to matter conversion theory, but you do not need to understand it to do your job. I'll just mute them for you so you can continue your mission. I, however, will be taking notes. This is fascinating material. Weird. Weird as usual. Uh, so now we've got the alien technology unlocked. What that means is, if we go down and look at one of our machines that's powered, like this little constructor here, we can now put a summer sloop in here and it'll output um, a multiplier and it'll turn this into a higher number, but it won't increase the raw materials needed. This will, however, increase the power. What that means, though, is that we can get a lot more for our resources that are a pain to get. Uh, so I um, I may actually pause this for now. Um, I think we need, well, I may let it go. 24, what do we need for the, the next level? The next stack size. Um, stack size, we need 103. Well, we don't have the seven Mercer spheres, but I might as well let this, I'll, I'll let this keep going. The three ingredients that we have, we have in continuous supply, so that's good. Um, I'll just turn this on. How are we doing for supply down here? Yeah, okay. What I should do is grab a handful from over there. I just hit the stage where I need to reckon the nitrogen gas for the first time. Wow. Recon, sorry. Any tips for gas around? I'm not far off a train, but I need... I haven't done fluid transfer with trains yet, so I'm wary of how fiddly that could be. Yeah, train fluid stuff is something you just... I mean, play with it. Um, Total Eclipse is doing train fluid stuff with oil right now. Um, just package it and move it around that way or should I set up a factory on or near the node I, I've i never done anything with nitrogen gas so I don't actually know 
But I would say that a gas train should work as described, but you have to have uh, buffers. How old is this save? Uh, 110 hours, and I started the day that 1.0 dropped. My biggest save is uh, 1100 or 1200 hours. But it was crashing a lot, so we decided to um, start new. Still doing Transformers themes, we're just, just doing other stuff. Strike a match, says Loki. Yeah. Um, been gone for three weeks, so I was wondering if I missed much. Uh, at the rate that I build, yeah, you missed a little bit. <laughs> you did miss a little bit. What am I missing here? It'd be all right. So once the sim is done, I want to have a little... Uh, Skinner. I'm just kind of a little run around somewhere where I haven't been. Let's see if there's any summer stuff. I did notice when I was looking at this, I did notice a Mercer Sphere out on the rock. So I might look for that too. So I think with this build, we're going to move this over. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this tree. And we're gonna, it'll give us like another couple foundations of room. I think I wanna move it farther from the train tracks. So that will help us. Where is it? It's over there. I would want some summer sloop. I will take the free wood for fuel, though. I just thought I would run around here and see if anything crops up. There's a slug. What would you say are the most useful re alt recipes? Um, anything that will help you replace screws in the early game. Uh, solid steel ingot is a good one. I'm trying to think about what else. Iron wire is very useful. If you can get uh, stitched iron plate, Arsiria, and that's a great one, yeah. And that falls in the line with like getting rid of screws. Let's see any summer soup this way. I think we used a lot of our summer sloop on um oh there we go. Up there maybe. I see fart plants, so probably up there. We were just talking about ladders in the Discord and how sort of broken they are. They're hard to get onto and hard to get off of. There's one. anything else while I'm up here. I 
I just need one more. And then I know we'll be good for the adaptive control units. I feel like I would have gotten a lot of stuff from around here. You can move pretty fast with the Blade Runners. It's actually kind of nice. Oh. Close. Something's happening. Up here somewhere. is up there. Always up. Yep, there's a slug. So it's obviously up there. What is the fastest way to get up there? Hmm. As long as I can stand for a little bit to recharge the pack, we should be fine. The, um, the biofuel is really good for sustained movement. We need a we need a good uh oh we have that cosmic. I was just about to say we need a good up quote, but we actually have that Lord of the Rings quote. That's awesome. It's been a long time since we since we used that. Man, there are areas in this game that are just so pretty. It's very strange that you know we don't spend a lot of time doing this. It's so much about factory and optimization and stuff. Hello, world. How nostalgic. <laughs> In the beginning, there were the words, and the words made the world. I see you have been doing research. I must say you make for interesting conversation. Conversation. Singing together. Communication. Our tune is only plug at the strings of the tapestry. Are you saying this is only the beginning? In the beginning, there were the words, and the words made the world. The words turned into song, opened the windows. The song played with instruments, weave the tapestry. A tapestry of temples and shrines, bodies and bones. Orchestral harmony. Us. We. Ours. That was weird. I did not know that there was a um, hard drive up here, though. That's cool. Now we have one of those, too. Uh, drop pause. Is there anything worth grabbing? Computers, maybe? Taking some damage. These are not really high tier items, though. Oh, there's some aluminum. Yeah, I didn't realize there was nodes up here. Look, there's an iron node there. There's an iron node there. Very cool.
if anything, I think that the liquid biofuel is a little OP. Because, like, the fact that I can fly across here, it's... I mean, it's great, but it's almost a little too easy. Don't see any other goodies. I think we got that one already. Yes, yeah, we did. There's a slug. Like, if you're up high enough, you can kind of tap your way all the way home. It's a little bit bizarre. Like, I'm not actually sinking, right? Like, it's 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 definitely a... It's a constant height. Like, I can stay... Until I run out of fuel, I can basically stay at this height, right? So here's a good example of... Um, of me bringing the iron from these three normal nodes. And really, it's going all, over, all the way over to there. It's just getting smelted first. And then sent around here, right? All right, that's enough of that noise. Please and thank you. I need to install more of these around and actually use them as walkways. It's a lot more fun, too. Uh, do animals ignore you now? I'm jealous. I can't wait for that. Uh, yeah, you can go in and change the setting. It's um, under options, gameplay. I think. Creature hostility. So there's normal. So default, creatures will attack players on site. Passive, creatures will not attack players or retaliate when attacked by players. And retaliate, which is what I have, which is creatures will only attack you when attacked by players. So basically, if I go up and I poke the bear, then the bear pokes back. So we have a hundred of those now. And I'm curious. So right now, I can put in an output multiplier. And I've put two in there. It took it to 184, so like you can watch even if I do one at a time, it's um, 184 megawatts. If I leave it there, watch what happens to this next cycle through. 288. But then we're getting 31. So it's 1.25, but the resources aren't changing. So now we're getting 1.5. But it's probably really torquing our power, right? Like, you can see what it did to our power. Max consumption, capacity, production. So we're still... We're still here because not everything is on. But you want to be careful with, with this thing. But the fact that we can get more out of this now is great. We can stretch these longer. Uh, I need to change the belts, though. It's not fast enough. That just means that we can have those resources that are a little bit more of a pain in the butt to get. Uh, we'll just be a little bit faster now. I need to research hard drive. Is it possible to alter the order of items in your dimensional depot? I know you can pin things, uh, but other than that, it seems to be the only option for the order based on when you first introduce them as an item type, which is weird. Yeah, I agree. I would have thought that this would have reordered into... Um, uh, alphabetical, you know? 
But I agree. I don't think there is. There's no right click. You can, like you said, you can pin stuff. And you can search. Right? But I agree, I think it needs to be better alphabetical. I don't even bother scrolling. I just type. I just start typing. The problem there is that you have to remember what it's called. So if you're new to the game, it might be a little bit tricky. Uh, hard drive. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of UI stuff that could tweak be tweaked in the game for sure. Where are we with this stuff? I needed that we can do. Oh, I have to wait for the hard drive. Whoops. Uh, grabbing one of those would be fantastic. Yeah, we can um, we can basically get through most of Caterium now. Sweet. While we're waiting for that stuff, we might as well go chop down a tree and get some extra Caterium wire. We'll do this first. Sad as it is, we must continue to pay for the parking lot. But we also will get a lot of biofuel out of that, so I can't really complain too hard. That gets us an extra two foundations, probably. Ooh, the grass gets a little high back here. Not a fan of that. This may end up being wall design anyway. Yeah, I feel like if we at least brought it to there, and have a cool design. Uh, that gives us... If I don't make it bigger, that's just going to be a move of two blocks for two foundations. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But if I take two blocks off the front... That or I could just give myself the extra space. I'm probably going to move it back by one at least. And I think we'll move everything back. Now for here, I'm going to switch the chainsaw to single mode just to get rid of a couple things here it's like the fact that I can fly all the way to this factory over here is a little bit a little bit OP The Lorax was a prude design automate thrive. <laughs> Our Syrian, that's wicked. <laughs> Evil, but <laughs> well done. Well, this will be a lot of 
a lot of fuel, I think, for that. Wood seems to do a very, very good job of getting some, some fuel going. I guess we can just get that over there. And I'll top myself up. Something over here needed quick wire. All right, I have to wait for that to finish. I was running one burner per machine until coal and uh, deforested the planet, basically. Yeah. Yeah, coal really opens things up. Get myself to 100 AI limiters. I think that's what I need to open up a couple of things. So I was watching what Darren plays, and they mentioned about prioritizing your summer sloop for your slugs and your space elevator parts to very quickly get yourself through the different phases. I think that was a really good idea. I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't think about it sooner. Use my sloops to double production of sluds into power cells and now crank to productivity in major components? Yeah, totally. That's what I should do too. So for example, um, I've got right now I've got them on the SAM SAM orbit. Looks like we've we've run out of something. Imagine it's the SAM. Yeah, that's fine. How many did we get? Oh, we got 400. Sweet. That is fantastic. That really sets us up well. So again, like you can go in here and then if you had two more summer sloops, you could probably get this up to like seven. No, so yeah, seven per minute, which takes you know, like th that's going to take way less time. And way less materials like we could probably start this now. Right. So it's 415 megawatts, though. Do I even have that? It's well above, but our production is down here. So I could 100% start to automate this. I just need to have one more um, bin. I would say probably here. I wish they would give you like a number indicator on how high something is like you know how when you do a zoop on a foundation it'll tell you 
That is not a belt. So we need automated wiring, circuit boards, heavy modular frames, and computers. Computers stack low, so let's put the computers in here. I'm glad we're, I thought about doing this before we got too heavy into the stream today. Like an hour of setting yourself up for success or the few hours that you're playing. You know, maybe we'll at least try to make it look somewhat attractive. That's computers. This is going to be probably circuit boards. Everything's a rainbow. And this is going to have to be automated wiring and heavy modular frames. So let's do heavy modular frames at the back. A lot of moving stuff around. This is probably full. Oh no. Automated wiring. Do we have that anywhere? There it is there. Why does that not want to work? Too steep. Oh. So this is doing 2x at least. So we could try to go get more summer soup. See what it did to our production though. Really ramp things up. But now we're doing 1.5 per minute. So is an hour, right? 66 minutes. If we can keep it um, fueled with stuff. And the bottleneck there is going to be probably computers. Because I need some computers for me. Uh, can you explain how to get more out of slugs? You mentioned something about that yesterday. Yeah, I can show you right now. Yeah, so I don't have any other computers. So we're not going to be able to get through all of those adaptive control units. I really have to start now focusing on getting... Oh, there they are. They're cool. I'm going to take a screenshot, but I went into the shadow. Neat. Um, yeah. So yeah, Mord of Slugs. Um, I will have to get my Summer Sloop out of here to show you. 
But essentially, you can, in a constructor, make power shards. So, one blue power slug equals one power shard, right? However, right? So, if I put in five power slugs, I'm going to get five power shards, right? So, I got one. One for one. If I grab the summer sloop and put it in here, I get two power shards for one. Now, you can only do this uh, in, in certain machines. It gives you a limit. So in the constructors, you can only put one. In the um, manufacturer, you can put four. I think it's tied to the number of inputs the machine has. So like if I look at an assembler, we can put two, right? Because it's got two inputs. So now that I've got a power uh, a summer sloop in here, and I put my shards in here, I'm going to get two. So it's one slug to two power shards. So now whenever it's done, it's going to do two at a time. Right? And that's how you double the amount of power shards. And you basically double the amount of slugs. Right? So if I go back in here, and I select my yellow power slug, right? Find my yellow power slug in my inventory. So now I can put this guy, and instead of one, instead of two, I'll get four. Right? Does that make sense, Loki? Oh, thanks for the What Darren Plays link on YouTube, Cosmic. That's great. So I'll put those back in there. And this affects the output. This affects the speed. And I've got 12 power shards there. Awesome. I also use sloops converting alien bits into DNA. Helped so much in the early part of sinking DNA into coupons and getting more. Oh, yeah, you can double your DNA stuff. That's really sharp, too. It's a great idea. Hard drive confirmed. They've improved this now. They've fixed a lot of the scrolling and display in here. That was on the update the other day. Steamed copper sheet and bolted frame. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't feel like we need the steamed copper sheet just yet. I don't know what alt recipe I'm actually looking for. I think I'm looking for a heavy modular frame alternate. Or do I already have that? I think I'm using screws right now. No, I've got the alt. Okay. I really like to make this place look a lot nicer. Uh, Caterium, what can we do in here? That looks good. Power switch. Power switch unlocked. Fixit is proud to announce that the power switch facilitates power grid management through the application of the very latest advances in on off switch technology. <laughs> Fixit, it's fun to have power. The very latest in switching things on and off. So priority power switches are cool because we can now uh, say like, hey, if we pull, if we blow a fuse, if we if we trip the breaker with too much power, don't turn off all the factories. Uh, turn off something like my quartz or, well, the quartz is separate. 
turn on turn off something like the SAM miner as as a as a first ditch effort uh, because we don't need it need it right. Priority power switch unlocked. This assists with power grid management by automatically powering down specified connections when a grid failure is imminent. I just said Use that. Use it to prioritize power for the most important infrastructure. Uh, I don't have enough for those, and I could probably do those. That would be good. Scannable geyser. That would be a great way to just kind of up the power because because we've got the augmenter. Um, just finding a couple of those would be fantastic. Uh, so let's go grab the quick wire and the motors for that. The stickers extension is offline for maintenance. Oh, that would have been nice to know before I started the stream today. Do we know how long it's going to be out for maintenance? Uh, imagine this in Master Chief's voice. It will soon be nighttime. Wake me if you need me and take a break when it's dark. That's an order. Nice. I bet you that sounded cool. Um, and it was high speed connectors. Don't know how many. We are not making a lot of high speed connectors at the moment because circuit boards. Programmable splitters are very cool. I want them. Geothermal generator unlocked. Geysers added to the object scanner. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. When life gives you deadly geothermal vents, run directly towards them and build generators. Use potentially lethal natural phenomena for your own benefit. It's the fix-it way. Uh, that sticker worked. That was 100 bits from Penguin Dude to use the Baby Yoda sticker, although I'm just realizing now that that is... Um, behind my camera. Maybe it's not for you working cosmic. That's weird. Yeah. As, as the streamer, I did not get, um, any notifications. It says browser source is active. Um, penguin dudes sticker from earlier went through just fine. Does it say what time that was? No, it doesn't. I'm going to replay this and see if it goes in a different spot. Unless you put it in a specific spot, Penguin Dude. There we go. I don't remember it being that small. I thought it was larger. But thanks very much, Penguin Dude. Appreciate it. Uh, what do we need for this? AI limiters. I'm not going to sit here and handcraft 100 AI, or another 50 AI limiters. And we don't have the computers either. So we're kind of stuck there. Is there anything else? Can't do that. I don't really need any of that. We need computers, I think, to really get through most of this. That's the compacted coal. Ah, I should have used the hard drive for compacted coal. That was dumb. They, the fact that they lock these behind hard drives, I guess you're guaranteed the compacted coal alt and the turbo fuel alt. That's why you have to sacrifice a hard drive. Um, we could do the black smokeless powder, though. Uh, I think I have enough of that. Anyway, I hear the train, and because it's almost nighttime, I'm going to take that break as Cosmic suggested, and I'm going to ride the train. You can all... Enjoy the, the trip. Uh, I will be back in five to seven minutes. If you wouldn't mind sharing the stream with somebody else, uh, bring in a friend. We're always trying to grow the channel and increase the subs and increase the viewership. So I would very much appreciate it. And I'll be back in about five or seven minutes.
All right, back on track. I think this is the first time I've been riding this on, at night from this angle. It's really cool. You can see all the, the LED lights on the track. Pretty good design. I'm pretty happy with it. Thank you, Cosmic. Thank you, Blast. Big head face, hello. Uh, Arsirian, I think you have gone, but thank you very much for the 100 bits. Very kind of you. Enjoy the rest of your day at work. I really need to make this look a lot nicer. I just don't know if we're keeping it. That's the thing. It's a temporary, temporary setup. So Cosmic was mentioning just before the break that um, stream stickers was uh, down for them, but it seems to be up for me. So it might be just a regional thing. That or maybe it's the text-to-speech stickers. I'm not really sure. Um, it was the sulfur one. Black powder. Smokeless powder. I thought I had some of that around. All factories are temporary. Ah, uh, that's fair. In this game, sometimes. So I've got the sulfur. I don't have a lot of sulfur. I've been getting that manually. That's the one thing we're not sticking up into the ether. Hmm. I could do that in a constructor. No, that's an assembler, right? I think it's one to one. Uh, do I need, I probably don't need more circuit boards. We're probably okay for circuit boards for now. Manufacturer, yeah. Uh, one to one. Granted, I could also. Do. Summer sloop over here. Because that's done for the minute. We're going to be bouncing the summer sloop around, I think. Trying to make the most of this. Uh, and then I just need to do the top down. Thirty-seven, thirty-seven. Oh, nope. Got to empty the bin. It's the only thing about doing it this way is that you get stuck on stuff. Uh, it's a pain. I really wish you could access those a lot easier. I feel like the fact that you've got to jump is just a little bit of a problem. Of 
Right, so that's gonna make powder, and I can just load that up with coal and sulfur. Actually, we should probably do exactly the same. So I have 125. We'll do another 125 here. That should work. Hey, Cosmic says it's working now. Wait, what's working? Cosmic, what is working? You left a message and forgot context. Cosmic. <laughs> well played well played cosmic thank you ever so much for the 200 bits and victory the tts stickers are now back up and running at least in your region god the, the claptrap stuff is so good i need i need to find out whether that's something that i can do myself because i would love to have claptrap like say stuff on stream i keep on meaning to get back to borderlands 3 and play it on stream I never finished it. I started another playthrough on Xbox, and then I haven't gone back to my one here. Uh, Going to run to a work meeting, says Loki. Thanks very much, Loki. I appreciate you being here. Enjoy the work and lurk. Hope the meeting is short, but productive. Yeah, that stacks up pretty fast. I don't even know where we are for tickets. We should go check that. Borderlands caught your attention a few times browsing in your stream library. Yeah, I'd like to play it more. It was really fun. And I'm probably better with a mouse and keyboard. Lothus, hello, love the content. Heard of this game that might be coming to console soon. How do you think it'll play on controller compared to keyboard and mouse? I don't know. Uh, first person games for me, building games for me actually, um, on console I find it very difficult. I don't like Minecraft on console, I don't like um, City Skylines on console, I was not a fan. There's just so many menus, I I prefer, it's the thing, it's not so much the gameplay, it's doing this stuff, like it's, it's doing this on a console, I think it's going to be really tricky. The other stuff is going to be fine. It'd be like exploring the world and doing stuff and riding and driving cars might even be easier. It'd be like no different than playing Halo, right? Um, what did I need? 100 of each. Oh, I shouldn't spend all of my sulfur. That's fine. We need to go get more sulfur anyway. Yeah, I need 200 of whatever this is, black powder. 200 black powder. Uh, tickets. Thirteen. Lucky number 13. Do I have any in here? I do. 15 total. That opens things up. Uh, I don't think I want either one of those just yet. It's the kind of thing I might buy when I need it. Don't care about those. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Caterium finish. We should probably get the steel walls to finish that. Those are done. Walls are done. Don't really care about those two. Do I have the fix-it coffee cup? I don't know that I do. We could also purchase some stuff. Can I purchase smokeless powder? No. 
two hundred for one ticket. That's not bad. Uh, I am probably going to go with some of the customizer floor things, though. I feel like I will want icons. Numbers would be cool. I feel like this is going to be fun to have. So we'll grab factory zone, maybe the numbers. Where does that get us? Nine? That leaves us six to do with later on. I think that's probably a good idea. Don't have to spend them all in one go. Yeah. With that. Fix it does not guarantee improvement of workplace readability, efficiency, or safety with use of these patterns, since the process of deployment is dependent on pioneer skill. So we're stuck on these guys until we get more computers. We get, we're a third of the way there. If I switch this from high-speed connectors to computers, that might be worth it. those here. I think they were part of the modular engines. Computers, circuit boards. I just need more plastic. And we've got lots of plastic. per minute this needs to be a mark too I wish that when you did that um, it would keep the color not that it's a big deal so now we're getting 1.5 computers for all the materials we're putting in there so we'll slowly get there You prefer PC to console for most games? In console games, you lose a lot of controllability and the AI is so limited as well. That's fair. I find for me that um, it's the graphics. Like I, I find that most things on my Xbox look better than my PC because I don't have a very beefy PC. Um, if, if I had a new PC, then there'd be a different argument to make, of course, right? have a few left it's fine
plastic. Research completed. Smokeless powder recipe unlocked. New sulfur research available for the development of high-end weaponry and ammunition. So we need the smokeless power to get into all of that stuff. And that is six inventory slots at the end of that tree. This, if I get more of those, we can do right now. That's a hand equipment slot. Not a huge deal, but handy. I am a bit of a completionist. Tool belt expanded. I compounded Sulphur's tristatic atom matrix into a quadrimensional gate vortex. You can now carry more stuff. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. That's hilarious. Uh, rebar. Right, computers for that one. Hand equipment slot. I guess, see, a lot of this is like helping you with the environment and battling stuff, and I don't really need that, right? Okay, so we're kind of done with the man for now. What is the recipe for smokeless powders? Oh, it's an oil thing. Yeah, we're not making that anytime soon. First thing we have to do is expand the oil for plastic. Are the inventory slots worth it now with the thing that's kind of like the ender chest that I have forgotten the name of? Uh, the dimensional depot? Uh, yes, because working through, especially manually working through um, this stuff here, it's taken a lot of inventory space, like moving materials around. I, yeah, bigger inventory is always worth it. I agree. We're down to the last smokeless powder. I think I need to change the output here. That's probably a problem as well. What can we build in here now that we need? Do fabric. Mycelia and biomass. Do I have any biomass? I do. A few things going in the background, and I guess now we need to go and really take a look and see what we're going to do over here while we wait for computers to build up. But like I said, I think I'm going to move this one spot closer to uh, the cliffside, giving more room here. So everything is going to move down. Um, I did run into an issue here with the grass poking through. So right now, the build was nine wide. One, two, three, four. 
plus the front door. And so I'm not worried about this part. It's more like this face here. So one, two, three, four. This could be the new middle. And then one, two, three, four. I have to find a way to cover that up. It's annoying. I really wish there was a way to like stop that. Like I wish the grass wouldn't grow when you put foundations on it. I wish it would remove the grass. It would probably save a lot of rendering and stuff too. Like who who wants that, right? So we'll move things back at least one. Which means these are all gonna be roughly in the same spot. This big guy will go back here. And I want at least enough room to do a lift. May want to move it a little bit closer. Ladders on the line. So that would get rid of this part here. We should probably think about actually having a space here for um, the stairwell to continue. We could stick the stairwell on the outside, maybe. I'll have to think about that. This is going to push all these back because uh, what I want to do is I want to focus on this as the axis for the whole build. So once I know that, then we can start to build accordingly because I like the idea of like this view, maybe expand these a little bit. This could actually stay where it is, although maybe that's part of the problem. Uh, 
Uh, Rachelology, hello. Can't I, I get your name wrong every time. Rachel Oxy, hello. Um, also, the input rate of the Dimensional Depot can be slow, so you're building a large project, you can quickly run out of basic materials if you're solely using on that. Yeah, it's the, the Dimensional Depot, the thing to uh, push for is stack size first and then upload speed later. What's really good, what the Dimensional Depot is really good for is like putting stuff back when you're out um, gathering things and you have like one of each thing. Uh, I think that's far enough back. I don't have to worry about that too much. I think we're okay there. It's more this this face that I was concerned about. I don't know if it's actually going to stay like that. Maybe we'll move this over here. Uh oh, what did I just do? Here we go. Again, just trying to think about how symmetrical is this going to be? Right now, one, two, three, four, five, six. So like, yeah, this might actually be larger. This might be better off if it had an extra. I think that's pretty good. That gives us some depth here to play with. But this is where I want to work backwards. So the output for these guys is going to be coming out here. And I'm thinking we can maybe utilize um, whatever happens in this space. You know, like if this has got some sort of like depth to it, maybe we can put stuff in here going up. So like on the outside, maybe it's a solid uh, graphical thing. But on the inside, maybe it's glass. Right, like maybe we have... Um, one of those and then windows walls right and so then maybe in here we could have a lift taking the computers And maybe they can get loaded onto the train station. I don't know. We'll have to figure out what's happening there. That could be interesting. Because um, then this could go from here. Around to there. And... I feel like this is going to have to have... of this kind of staggered layout. We may have to go higher because I might want to use all lifts rather than having this go down like that, right? I might want to have flat and then three lifts. So this whole thing might want to be a little bit taller because if we go here, we can do lift. And that just means we have to go taller down the line. I 
I'm liking all the yellow though. I think it's gonna look cool. So that's kind of fun. Did I not change this to standard? I did. So this is where all of the items for the computers are going to come into. I don't know why I'm doing five computers a minute. Does anybody remember why I said I was going to do that? So I'd want a lot of this stuff to come in down this way. And unfortunately, we'd have to do something is so here was where we're going to run into some problems where I've got to get this material up to this height and that can be a potential problem so some of this stuff could come straight across which is interesting and the rest I wonder if this is going to work out where does this actually go Gonna be on the second level so that's flat but then the other one we have to figure out how to get up to there yeah i may have to go with something slightly lower so these need circuit boards Cable and pl oh, this only they only need three. What am I doing? Um, we could do just the three. That's not terrible. And so the circuit boards are going to be made over on this side. We need 10 per minute and we're making, I think we're making a lot more than 10 per minute. I think it was circuit board, circuit board, circuit board. Not that I really should waste time, but Circuit board, circuit board, circuit board. And then this was supposed to be AI limiter. Not that you can really see the difference. Maybe I should change this to be like a darker color. So that's seven. So yeah, we're actually making quite a bit, but the, this needs circuit board no I thought that hmm I might have done this wrong so we're getting cable and sheets cable plastic I think I need to get that calculator up again go with oh good it remembers my last time here so five AI limiters a minute computers was five Plastic comes into both. Quick wire AI limiter. So that's a separate thing. That's just copper sheets. It's the circuit boards right now that I'm trying to figure out. I only need three. Yes, yeah, three. Oh, because one's underclocked. That's why. That's why. 
And what I want to do is I want to have some circuit boards going into storage. So I need to figure out where in this facility we're sticking our storage. So circuit boards are only used in the computer. And we need two and a half, roughly 2.6 um, of these. Uh, Rachel Oxy, no. Uh, I mean, every once in a while I drink soda. We tend to call it pop around here in my region. Uh, but no, uh, if I do, it's Coke or uh, I like ginger ale. I would say that most often I would have uh, something like ginger ale would be like a mixed drink. Uh, Rhymers DK, hello, welcome back. How's it going? Uh, not Sprite, no. Um, I don't mind a Sprite, um, but I tend to prefer, I prefer like a Coke if I'm going to drink. Most, if I'm out for like pizza or something like that, I have a beer usually. And I'm a big IPA fan. The hoppier, the better usually. I want to denominate me for the Sprite challenge. Oh, like drinking a bottle of Sprite, Sprite and burping? Nope. I don't do that kind of stuff. Generally speaking, I appreciate the thought, but it's not my type of thing. I need to scroll down here. Yeah. So I need two point six. 20 circuit boards per minute. Well, let's, I want to do more than 20. We're going to do, that's seven, that's 15, seven and a half, 15. So here, what we might want to do is underclock this to, um, instead of five, right? Maybe we'll do um, six. And so that will give us one extra that can go into overflow, into our storage constantly. So that means somewhere here on the output of these, which is gonna be down below, we have to have an overflow. So we have to decide which of these is gonna be the overflow for, so plastic cable, we don't need an overflow for plastic. That's gonna be handled somewhere else. Um, or actually we might because of how this is going to work, but uh, cable, we've already got cable going in. The circuit board is the only one here outside of computers that we need like a storage for. So circuit boards, computers, and AI limiters. I only need three bins. And it looks like, um, again, two, that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It doesn't give us a lot of room. There is some space here to fit like a double bin. To run the computers through that bin too. Although it makes sense that we could make this accessible to the train as well. So maybe we have to figure out where that's going to be up top. Fitting everything on this floor is going to be the real challenging part. Uh, but the output here makes sense. I kind of like this floor here. We could bump this back if we needed to. So we're going to have outputs along here and inputs and all of this just got bumped ahead
feel like that's enough space. And then we would take everything back down with the exception of whatever this is going to be, maybe a cable. on the outside that does not work I'm trying to also make this decoratively cool oh I didn't move this platform at all that's my first problem I don't think I deleted anything here. I'm trying to keep this space for me, people. Maybe we'll add some glass here too. And then I can use the constructors along here. That's actually pretty good. Puts the output um, there and the input here. Yeah. And so then this would have a line going down here. This might actually be something we could use. Eh. It's not the best. So there'd be a line of those all going down the way. Um, it's weird how I tend to want to go in the other direction. So we may switch the stair around. I tend to want to go the other way. Maybe we'll do this instead. Feels more natural to me. Uh, although now I would want to be able to go this way, I think. We'll have to see. I may be directing myself a lot around the long way. So one, two, three, four. I think that was four or five. What does the schematic say? So this is going to be making um, copper sheets, I think. 4.3 of them. And this is also actually the only place that we're making copper. Well, we've got copper sheets happening just kind of in the background. So I don't need to overclock here. I mean, either way, we can adjust with underclocking. Copper ore, copper ingot. That's four for copper sheets, but they're going to AI limiters and circuit boards. 
So these four copper sheets should be closest to the assemblers. These ones are probably the iron ones. And this is three and a half and five, so two. So there's six in total. Two, three, four, oh, that's a pain. So then they sub. So this would be making wire. Iron wire. And eventually that has to get picked up and turned into a three and a half. So four of those would be iron wire. Actually, do I have a copper color? I must somewhere. Oh. We'll just use the copper finish. Am I missing one? I feel like I could put another one here. Yeah, that's probably what I forgot to do. So then technically I could fit all six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six. I think six is going to be the better. Better way to do this. That's the wrong way. So then these guys are going to be doing iron wire. And then the last two are going to be making cable. And the cable goes directly into these guys. And we've already got cable going into storage, so we don't need it to be anywhere else. So technically, this could be the cable. The circuit boards could also be this one. So for now, let's go with circuit boards. And then what's the other thing? Plastic and cable. Oh, plastic. This should be plastic because it's closest to the roof where that's coming in. So that could actually come down from somewhere else entirely. Yeah, this might even come in from up here. So this is probably going to come in from up there. Not entirely sure. That will probably be plastic. And then we could use this one could have been the circuit boards.
Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be as cool looking as I want, but we'll see. It will soon be nighttime. Wake me if you need me. And take a break when it's dark. That's an order. <laughs> well played, Cosmic. Well played. Thank you very much for the stream sticker and the 200 bits. I really appreciate it. Um, the 200 bits 45 minutes ago, that was the Claptrap one, right? I think I, I'm pretty sure I thanked you for that. Um, Rachel Oxley says, I have uh, a mini fridge beside my desk, always stocked with Dew, Mountain Dew. Yeah, I've never been a Mountain Dew fan. To each their own, no criticism. Just like, I just, I tend as I, as I get older, older if I'm going to have something sweet, I want like dessert. I want like pie or cake or cookies or something. I don't, I don't tend to like sweet drinks too much. Although I say that and then like, you know, a pumpkin spice latte from um, Starbucks is also pretty good. Sun is indeed going down. Um, I should probably get on the brake train since it is coming. So yeah, this is going to be not as tidy as I thought it was going to be. It may be worth putting these up on this floor. I don't know. We'll have to see how this is going to work. But the sun is going down. I take a break once an hour, folks, if you're new to the channel. And we are going to ride the brake train, which happens to be the plastic train at the same time. So uh, feel free to grab a friend. Let them know that we're streaming. I'm always trying to grow the channel. And I will be back in about five or seven minutes.
just in time. Managed to heat up lunch while I was on break. Good stuff, penguin dude. I had a light lunch because I'm going over dinner. Burgers and beer. I may even get dessert just because. Bare minimum effort. Welcome in. Good to see you. Yeah, myself and all of my guy friends get together about once a month. And um, we call it Third Thursday. And it's just a standing invite for the group. And so not everybody comes every month. I don't think I've missed a month, but I'm self-employed, so I can, you know, easily fit it in. Uh, is it is it is third Thursday? Yep. Uh, it is Penguin Dude. It's great. There's a local brewery called Battery Park, and they have like 17 or 20 taps. It's all local microbrew. Uh, there's cider. There's beer of all kinds. So it doesn't matter what people like to drink. There's always something that they enjoy. Uh, the burgers are great. Um, relatively affordable. I mean, everything is kind of expensive these days, but um, burgers are good. And we also... Um, it can accommodate. Like, there's usually between four and six of us. And it's never a wait. This, the wait staff is fantastic. It's, it's a really good spot. I quite like it. Uh, teetotal myself, but not against a good local ale or beer. What do you mean, teetotal? I don't know what you mean. Alright, so this is all going to be making our alternate iron wire. And so the output for these guys is going to be cable. And the input for these have to go into the iron wire. So these are just going into one another. Alternate iron wire vector. So, this should be the output for these. Which can then be, I guess, down here. There's something making skittery noises. There must be a cave nearby. This is probably going to go into a merger. Like that. So then the inputs are really going to come along here. So this is actually going to be pulling from rather than no this is going to be pushing out so there's a good chance that this will be the output line for the um iron and then here at the top we'll have input for the cables the problem of course is that i've run these the wrong way because the iron is going to be coming from over here I was going to put it here, but the manufacturers are in the way. This is what? Impure. How much iron do I actually need? Oh, I need to smelt them too. 44. I can get that out of one impure. My bet is that this is just not going to look good next to all of this, no matter what I do. Oh, it's overlapping the see this is the thing this is dumb this is they are nowhere near one another there's no reason that that should overlap right like that is just stupid there's only like one little angle that you can get in there that's awful 
I hope they fix that. Uh, oh, a teetotal is just no alcohol or super rare to have any. Cool. I've never heard that term before. I didn't drink for the longest time. I didn't drink until I was almost 30. There has to be a cave over here somewhere. I'm hearing all kinds of skittery bits. Looks like there is. I see. Watch my... Is that an entrance, maybe? Yes. Is it just a slug? A lot of work for just a slug. There's no exit there. I'm gonna get rid of you. You're just the one. So maybe I won't do the iron wire. Maybe we'll have to do the copper wire. That might be the easiest thing to do. Uh, so we also need to make copper sheets. And that is going to be... Well, I need 130 copper ore per minute. Wow. So another six constructors doing copper sheets. So that'll line up with these six constructors. I just have to make sure that I've got this space down below. And I guess I could line this up quite tight here. So this is going to need where's the copper? Copper's over there. So it says I need 130 copper ore just for sheets. Can I get 130 to these two impure nodes? Probably not. Yeah, I wasn't crazy about the leap of faith either, Cosmic. Not my favorite part of the day. So I can get 120 and maybe a little bit more. Um, but then I would also need a little bit more. I think iron is just really cheap. So iron wire is 12 to 22 and then regular wire is 15 to 30. That would reduce the amount of constructors I would need though. So if I bring this back up and I say, instead of, we don't have any iron. And that's 170. Does it give you the power output? Yeah, I guess it does. Total is 515 megawatts. If I add the iron back in, production, it goes back to this thing and then power is 518 so you don't really save much power 
but I think the machines are simpler. So I need, I just need more, how do I need more wire constructors if that's the case? That seems strange. Oh no, that's less. That's a cable and wire. So I need six copper sheet constructors. Huh, how did, why did that go up? That doesn't make sense. Oh no, that's always been six and a half, I guess. Yeah, I don't really think we need to complicate this by adding iron into it, so we'll just remove the iron. So then we need five smelters, and then we need two and a half, and one and a half, and then six and a half. So, we can do three, two in the end, and then have these guys be doing copper sheets. These might end up pointing the other, deray, other way. These are probably going to end up being the other way as well. That will probably stay the pointing that way, though. So these guys would all be making copper sheets, and they would have to just be combined at the end with this guy making copper sheets. Um, we may flip this because this all has to go to those. So maybe this is the one that's extra. And then the wire goes there. And then this guy goes back to wire. So we're still having the copper come in around. So then Sheets would go around this way, underneath. And I guess, I don't, I kind of want to leave this clear. This would be the inputs. So really this, even if it is clear, it's going to have these guys in front of it. Really? That doesn't line up? Not making a little noise. Probably the hitbox thing again. No, I'm not getting a little chirp. That's annoying. So if I do it that way, at least it'll be symmetrical. That would look pretty cool. And we can either stay at this level or create our own walkway down the middle. Um, so what do these guys need? These guys need plastic and copper sheets. So the plastic would probably come in on the front here and have to get down to the main level. It might be worth thinking about what side we want to put the train station output on. We 
could bring the plastic down the other side. It may not be in this exact position, but I do want it to be central. So if we brought the plastic out here, which wins the out? This is the out. We want to bring it so that it would connect over there. So there's a really good chance I'd want to flip both of these. When was the last time you slid jumped? I don't know. A couple minutes ago? Happens a lot. So plastic coming in has to get down to this area here. So we would probably bring it down here, actually. Pardon me. Yeah, we'd probably bring that around and have that come down over here. And again, probably within this space here. So we can probably use this area. The problem I have is that I would really like to be able to walk this way. So I wonder if my second floor might be better off here. Still doesn't really feel like much of a through through space. Better than nothing. Problem is then I can't go up any farther unless I do. Yeah, that's an issue. Cause I can't get across to there. That stairwell maybe has to move. I'm trying to design from the inside out. Hypertube. Yeah, no, that's a good idea too. Actually, we don't use those very much. That wouldn't be a bad idea. The problem is it's a multi-floor thing and hypertubes to multi-floors are always a pain. I gotta move this too. Uh, where can I move this to? That's gonna be easy to get at. Let's just do a larger bin. Cuts this down a little bit. 
No, don't delete the miner. Glad I caught that at the last second. That would have been a pain. Okay, so that's out of the way. Can finish this up. So these guys are going to need plastic and copper sheets. This is where having this floor down here being so tall is going to come in very handy because we'll have to have two heights, one for plastic. And we could actually do it all high in the ceiling. So we could do Copper sheets and plastic that way. So if we ever come in here, it'll be on the ceiling and we don't have to worry about walking underneath stuff. And so this is probably going to be the plastic and then copper sheets. And so we could do this up here. And this is just like me kind of giving a rough idea how I might want to do this. Obviously that's somehow off. So we'd probably tweak that so that it would work and look good no matter what we do. So this would be plastic. Right, and then that would just go down the line. And that would leave all this very clean. I don't think I'm gonna leave them painted this color. I'm just gonna make it easy for me to see what's going on while I'm building. Right, uh, and then the output for these guys, same idea. The output could be going down. I think I decided that this could potentially be, that's the um, cable. That was the plastic also coming in from up top. And then this is cable here. So then this could potentially be coming out actually at that level. This could be, hmm, do this a couple ways. I feel like this needs copper sheets and quick wire. So this is going to have different out inputs all together. This is going to need a whole other copper sheets and quick wire. Yeah, not having a little chime there is really unnerving as a builder. Why do why does the blue slugs look like Sully cosplays? I don't know what you mean. You really need a blueprint for double stacked storage bins with vertical conveyors so that they stack from top down. Oh yeah. I know what you mean. Uh, 
So quick wire is going to be coming from over here, or the ingots rather are going to be coming from over here. Oh, we need to do the whole quick wire factory. Like this is, there's going to be some stuff happening outside of this that I have not really thought of. Two constructors for quick wire. I did not add the two constructors for quick wire anywhere up here. Can we squeeze them in? Maybe? If I bump that down. Uh, I don't think so. There's a chance. It might be better to do the quick wire over there, but this is a pure Caterium ingot or a Caterium location. So it's kind of a waste to just have it on this temporary factory. So this should probably be more of a robust Caterium space. Maybe we'll build a Caterium factory over here. That might be a better way to go. Does it matter if you look good if you can't see it? Well, it matters to me. It's also part of the fun for me. I know what you mean, Cosmic. No, I know who Sully is from the Monsters, Inc., but I don't understand why the slugs are cosplaying. It's a little bit strange. Oh, because the slugs are blue and purple and Sully had was blue with purple tips? Sure. Yeah, I think the Caterium has to happen elsewhere. So... Maybe I shouldn't do AI limiters here. That probably simplifies things a heck of a lot and would probably make my life a lot easier. What if I did high-speed connectors here? Oh, those are in a different machine altogether, right? Yeah, they're a quick wire thing. And they require circuit boards. One circuit board per minute. Yeah, I wonder what would happen if I removed the AI limiters from this. Ooh, that's simple. Copper ore 120, copper sheet constructor, wire constructor, cable constructor, circuit board assembler, plastic refinery. Our plastic goes way down. No, oh, no, sorry, plastic stays the same. Circuit board, cable constructor. So that means there is only two. Three is five, and four is seven constructors instead of the nine that I currently need. So the cable is two, the wire is three, and the copper sheet constructor drops to four. So this side would stay the same. That would be five there, which means I can get rid of this one and actually have like an area here. Mm. 
This could stay the stairwell. And then I would need four copper sheet constructors. New factory floor for Caterium? Um, I, I don't know what I would need. The fact that that's a pure node, I think I need an entire factory for Caterium. I needed, what I need to do for Caterium is the same thing we did for Ironhide. I need to make like a Caterium, a Caterium smelter, probably like a Bumblebee inspired build or something. So the sheet's still up. Thank you. Joel bots, remove the website. Thank you, Cosmic. I really appreciate the bits and the reminder. Uh, Random Gamer, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate you following after me leaving the uh, sheet up on screen. Yeah, four smelters for ingots. So I could almost fit this four smelters in here now. I really wanted to. See, these could be hollow. I know you like the stickers, Cosmic. I'm glad you love them. I like them too. I think they're fun. Uh, the laughs are are for real. So having more space is good. Um, having four of these is also good. I feel like we could probably have that better. Does it change the amount of um, assemblers I would need to? Yeah, I only need three assemblers, so I don't need this at all. So we could space those out more. And they would all be sending into the middle. So it would make more sense to have them output facing the other way. Is there anything more exciting than watching humans do math on camera? I think not. <laughs> Loki Loki, thank you for the GLaDOS sticker and the 200 bits. I really appreciate it. So it might be still worth it to stick this underneath. It's going to be facing this way. No, I probably think I had it right the first time. No shade, I'm thoroughly entertained. I just couldn't resist the joke. No, I appreciate it. Uh, it's all part of the game too, right? So I don't need that. I don't need that. So potentially the output for these guys is going to be here. Something wonky about that. So we could run that into the bin on the way to here. circuit boards. And then I don't know what this top one could be. This could maybe be... I don't know. 
We don't need four. We just need three. So maybe... We could also just continue the plastic. This could also be the plastic. That might be good too. It might be worth it to center that. And then work out. These could be pulled from underneath. Yeah, if this goes down here, then we could have the inputs for these ones be on this side in that space. I really appreciate the support, folks. I'm glad you guys like the stickers. So then this would be the same thing, same thing. Yeah, I think at some point I just have to start laying this out to seeing how that's to see how it's going to go. But we need copper coming in here. And then those need to be turned around. We could also just use this space. I think I know what's going on now. And I don't think I have enough room to do the smelting in here because smelters don't fit on this floor. No. We could fit them in here though. Because I only need or smelters. So close to fitting or smelters in that space. Wouldn't be a lot of room for logistics. I guess we could put it on the bottom floor. Oh no, wait, that's got an angle to it. Hmm. How could I do this? I guess this doesn't have to come out out here. This could come down in this space. Oh, well, that would be right in the middle. We could have it come down in the ceiling here and have parts of this go down and parts of it pull from above. That would remove this ugly thing. And then that could be the plastic. Kind of like the idea of the challenge of getting these smelters in the building. Oh, uh, that's going to be tricky. We'd have to use the ceiling, I guess. I wish these would snap to the ceiling. That would be very helpful. Having them this close together might be a problem. Uh, 
Oh, but maybe we could... Hmm. Each one of those is making, what, 30? Yeah. And then each one of these needs 15. No, each one of those needs... It'd have to be 40 and 80. So we'd have to split them into different lines. But that's doable. It would still be better. That's annoying. Can't get them any closer. I was really hoping to use that for the plastic, but if I can get the smelters here, it would line up pretty well. I could do two on one side and two on the other because I think I made this thing five wide on the other side. So we could do two here and two there, which is going to look nicer. And these would need, what would these need? Forty per minute and eighty per minute. So we could do thirty. This could be down to ten. But if this is gonna do eighty, we'd have to get the extra. And that could be a matter of putting it on a floor here. That still works. So we could still do a little splitting magic, uh, maybe. Might be a little bit difficult to do. So that's going to split between uh, this set and that set. So we could combine them all. Uh, yeah, we could probably combine them all pretty easily. And then just use a smart splitter to balance them out. That should work. Uh, Tony Hancock, glad to catch a stream up early for work. Very cool. Thanks for coming in, Tony. Appreciate you being here. Thanks for saying hi. That would remove the this ugly thing is how my parents described me hunting for apartments. <laughs> well played, Loki. I see what you did there. So I think we can smelt in here. I think that that's a possibility. That means that those guys are just going to be sending up iron. So really I just have to decide how the plastic is getting down to these guys. And it makes sense to bring the plastic in in one line, fill the circuit boards with the plastic first, and then send the extra plastic on along to the um, computers, right? And then we could do 
cable and the circuit boards, I guess, would come in from up here. Or we could do a third level and not have this be up here at all. Right, and then have that in between spot. Huge fan of that look. But we could maybe make some exceptions and have it all be higher. Plastic could be the middle or the first one, and then everything else could just go higher. really hard. I find that layering things, the manufacturers really make things tough to, to make things look good, I guess I should say. So then the output for those guys could be in this middle level. So that's the function, right? Plastic, circuit boards, cable. So that's how it's gonna function. But like, I would like to not make it look like total crap, right? So I'm trying to figure out how to best do that. I guess we could like drop the plastic down, keep the circuit boards high and then put the cable in the middle I guess I mean the good news is that this is all going to work And I do have an awful lot of space in here now. So I feel like this could continue to be the stairwell. Maybe I'm okay with going back this way now. This doesn't get us very far. Does that actually line up? It does. We'll have to see how this is going to function. I do have room to move this. I can I can bump this around now, which is good. We have a walkway here. We might lose it there.
So this could be... Uh, oh yeah, the train is not centered, is it? This could be kind of cool to have the train, like, exit out of this area here. So the train can maybe just exit right out of here and then join up again with the track. We'll have to add some layers to make it look good, but I think that could work. Again, it's a lot of space, but I think this will work. Twenty copper ore per minute. Am I going to need both of these? Yes, I am. And I should probably use... This is on the same grid as the... Um, as the train, so I'm going to use the same grid for the miners. And we probably need to bring it in around here. So there's a good chance that these miners are going to face the other direction. So that could easily be a single line. However, kind of hard to do in the dark. I think I missed the train, too. I did. That's right. We will make a new one. Stick with the Sunstreaker theme. Folks, time for me to take another break. I will be back in five or seven minutes. Just need to refresh the coffee. Uh, you can hang tight, watch the break train, and uh, maybe grab a friend. I know Cosmic. He's such a perfectionist, right? Wait, I think he can hear us. Ha <laughs> ha. Hi, Joel. Take a break. Who? Think we got away with it. <laughs> Cosmic. <laughs> I mean, I really appreciate it. You are having too much fun in a good way. Like, in a great way, you are having too much fun. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes, folks. I have to listen to Claptrap, uh, as, as you often do. <laughs> Thanks so much, Cosmic. Uh, I need timetables. Cool. Be right back, folks.
Just in time. Did I not turn off the self-driving? Guess it has to be done moving before you can get rid of it? Sure. So where were we? Were we working on the miners, I guess? So we probably want to bring it up to here. I'm going to try not to get rid of all of these trees. At least for now. I would say that this... Probably here. Where we're looking at. There another one I can get. Ah, that didn't get both. need both miners. We want to be bringing it up there. Will, thanks very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Clear some of the area. Don't know. Guess this one. Let's see. Thank you, Cosmic. So this is going to go up here. That's really tight. May or may not work. I'm not sure why it auto rotates to the grid. It's a little annoying. When you're connecting it to the, like something that exists the first time. So we could do that or we could run it off the end. Um, I'm all about having a tighter build. Yeah, that's not a lot of space. Although, if we did the inside, that's potentially doable. Still, this is kind of pointing the wrong way. If I did that and then had a 
I was thinking if we would put it inside here as a tower, that could be kind of cool. But the lift, we have to merge it before we can lift it. So we have to have a merger at some point here. And that's just a little bit off. It's really subtle. Um, this is pretty tight. I don't mind that. We could even fudge that a little bit and move it up. That's almost straight. I feel like that's probably the best solution. And then inside here we would have this would just be a um, one of these ones. Technically it's not going to connect to the wall, but uh, then we can use a floor hole here and connect here. That's our copper coming up from there. And then we can make this look as fancy as I can. I feel like this is probably as tight as it's going to get, foundation-wise. It feels a little bit strange. I still don't know how to handle the miners to have everything look Cybertronian and cool. Not quite sure how to do that yet. I feel like that's probably the tightest way we can do that. Outside of pointing them both in a different direction. So that would bring the copper around this way. And then we have 120. And we would just split it here. So we would just need... splitter in this area and I guess that could be bumped forward a little bit so this tree just that one is gonna have to go make sure that the chainsaw is on single mode input there and then we have to have a splitter again I could do it right here and then we have to have another splitter there thing is, would it be cool if we could see the splitter as part of the decoration on the outside? Hmm. 
Hmm. I think it sort of looks like a mistake. So that's no problem. That's that done. Uh, as far as planning goes. Execution will make it look pretty when we do it. Uh, and then the output of these guys is all going to be here. And we have to merge it. Again, I think we have to get rid of this one little tree. So every time you unequip the chainsaw, you get to change the mode. Just so people don't delete stuff by accident. Because you can't fix it unless you have to go back in, in a save point, maybe. You should probably move this tower, too. Uh, where is this going to go? Should mean I can remove well or move this one anyway it is an unhappy little tree that's fair. Uh, Tony Hancock. Hi, Joel. My son George is watching, and could you say hello to make his day? Uh, I can do that. I can do that. <clears throat> Just let me pour a cup of coffee first. I think I've been back for a few minutes, yeah. George, hello. I hope that made your day. Also, cheers to everybody enjoying an afternoon coffee. Okay, so that's gonna come in there. Now I need to figure out how we're gonna do the output. The smile says it all. <laughs> Good to know. Mission accomplished, right? Uh, so these guys are going to output into a merger. So we need this going this way. So we'll have a merger here. And then that is actually going to go... Uh, the inputs for these, this needs copper. So it's probably going to be best. Unfortunately, this is not lining up. I may have to move this. This is going to be... Right, yeah, I've got room to move these because I think I want this to come out of this space right here in a single. So I may have to nudge these a little left and right to get that to work. Um, although it's going to be kind of like in the wall, so it, if it was if it was squirrely, it wouldn't be the end of the world, right? It's just going to look good on this side here, and then that could come out, and that is going to feed into two. 
it's going to be a smart splitter and got inputs on that side and inputs on this side. I should probably do this as inputs on both these sides. I wonder if I should switch these around. Because I need four constructors and then three constructors. 40 and 80. How this has to get split. So a smart splitter is going to be the easiest way to do that. And I guess I could put the smart splitter here. And then this just has to be the one output. In which case, this could actually go all the way here. I really wish they had done more with the spacing of the lifts and the splitters i really feel like there's these annoying kind of like triple tracks in these in these foundations and i i really don't like the way that it it works out a lot of the time like i'd love to have this go down the middle right but then when you do that this becomes a real problem it will still connect it just looks bad I might opt for having it center. Yeah, because we only need um, 15 per. So that needs 40 and 80. So this is the one that's going to get split. And we could put the smart splitter here and send it in a different direction. And that will go, we'll probably have to move this back here and join up. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's going to be really tight. Never mind. I think we have to do the splitting out here. Where's the inputs for these guys? So this is being output here and input over there. I think we should turn these ones around. Don't like that it goes on top of the floor holes. Again, it's like, you know that's not what we want to do. I know you know this. Right, so then that's going to be the input. So input and input, and this is going to be the output. And the output is actually going uh, that way. So I could put the smart splitter here. And connect to there. And connect to there. And then all I have to do is get this into the smart splitter. From here. 
and I did that in the wrong spot, but you get the idea. Right. So all 120 ingots are going to go in there, and then they'll get split evenly in what the, they need with 40, 40 there, 80 there. And then the output from these guys is going to come down this way. I'm going to be heading out in this direction. And then that is going to be uh, copper sheets from these guys. And that's just an even four. Yeah. So there's only four of these guys needed. So I've got too many up here. One, two, three, four, five. I may want to keep them up this far just because um, it looks good at this end. Uh, and then all of these are just going to wrap around and go into the inputs for here, I guess. Although it might make sense to just keep it on the ground. And again, we could probably line it up so it looks good. Splitter. Like that. And then I guess we would line up this one with the output. This is just like the fine tuning of how I want this to look. And so then this would come up from here. Sheet, copper sheet, copper sheet. Yeah, I guess that's right. So we'd still end up with a cool kind of like hallway of these these things here, and this would look straight out the window, so it'd be a good view from in here. And then we just have to worry about the output for these machines. Sorry, I'm running all over the place here. And I can figure out maybe which position I want these to be in. See if you can refill your water without three complete side quests. <laughs> yeah. When life is busy, right? So the idea here is that I would probably link them along the top. Build the belt first. Snap the merger. Best we can. That did not make noise, but we would figure it out. So that leaves this very open as well. So I don't know if we need to be on the ceiling. Uh, we could very much just bring everything down. Sometimes it's nice to actually look at things moving around. Uh, this I would move so that the glass wall would be something we could do. And then maybe here, uh, that's the lane. Oh, I, you know, I could... We could keep this open. If I switch this around. If I kept that up there, how does... That gets in that space. Darn it. 
Because it'd be cool to kind of keep this open all the way down, which we could do. Right, because if I moved, I moved the input here over to there, but then I just have to figure out how I'm getting that across, which I mean, hey, we could go under the ground if we really wanted to. I do find it strange that I give myself eight meters of subfloor and I still have to go underneath things. Uh, Cause this is probably gonna go along here like that. So then to get from there to there without crossing this path is a problem. Whereas here, it would be clear the whole way, just asymmetrical. Because then we could have these all lined up down along here. I guess that makes sense because we're going to have to have this covered up anyway. I don't mind that. Yeah, what could we use? Um, I guess I could do patterns. Oh, that's the wrong way. Hold on. Just thinking about like trying to have a clear path for me to come in and get stuff. That could be kind of cool. That is going to stick out no matter what we do. Unless I move them slightly more to the right, I guess. Which is uh, it's possible, but then this would be a problem. bottom too? No. Can you do it on the bottom? No. I think it's starting to feel a little bit more like a solid thought, right? There's a flow to the building. We have not thought about power management. This is glass. I don't want to just stick the power on the ceiling. I much prefer what we've been doing with beams and stuff. I feel like it would be more fun to have the beams. And 
and that probably won't clip with anything. It should be fine. I keep on forgetting about the bonk when you hit the glass. Just have to be careful of the ones that we flip around. That's all. Yeah, we could tidy that up. We could probably nudge it so it looks like it's part of the wall. So, like, I could probably bring it closer to there. Have it look like it's all one piece. That's actually a pretty good solution. Now that I look at that, that's cool. Um, and maybe we could even continue it into the ceiling. And then potentially even have it here. That's right in the center of those two things, which is cool. And then if I can get the right height. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Uh, does that stick out up top? Uh, even if it does, it doesn't matter. Okay. Whoop. There's a hole there. Where's my screw gun when you need him? I agree, Cosmic. The beams are both um, something that adds this vibrant, like block of color, or like shine. If you wanted it to make, if you wanted it to be like a metal, right? You could do that too. I prefer, I prefer going primary with it. And I mean, like maybe this is where we use the orange from Sunstreaker, right? Uh, or this is where we could also add Sunstreaker has some blue in them as well. Um, there's a little, a grab, where's the, there's also red too. So I bring this up. So he's got red in some images. He's got blue in others. And then he's, his, his head is kind of like a black. But then there's like the red pops too. So I don't know. I, I think we can, we can do probably like a combination of a bunch of different stuff. He's a little bit more orangey. But I'm okay with what we've got going on. I don't mind the blue in some cases. Maybe that's what we do with the machines. Maybe we can make the cable machines blue. Just to kind of have that little pop there. I think though the orange was nice. Same thing here. I mean, for now, I have the orange doing copper sheets, but we can mess around with that. I do like that I'm using so many primary colors in this playthrough. And then we could probably just do the same thing along here, right? Just get the right height to mimic it. And then this might clip. I don't know. Technically eclipse, but it's not egregious. And that would... Well, it's a little close. I may have to think about a different way to do that. But I think that could be a great way to move the power around. Again, it's so easy to sketch 
in this game and then you can go back and refine it and change it as you need to. That's cool. It doesn't look very spacey. We'll have to figure out a way to maybe add some cool um, chrome and other bits to it. We might be able to sneak in like walls and things like that across here. Could be fun. But we'll mess with that. Uh, so now I think I think I have all that going. It's just a matter of now deciding how everything's getting into the manufacturers. Bonk. <laughs> you need like a command or a sticker or something for the bonking of the glass. That would be a good custom sticker actually, just like a glass pane with like a, a white burst of like bonk and then have that set, like I could record that sound and have a stream sticker make bonk. That could be kind of fun. I could even make it say bonk. Made it through the meeting. Please send help and coffee. Uh, coffee and snacks to you, Loki. Cheers. I... Hmm. So the plastic is coming down the middle. I'm hoping to maybe make these all... Um, lifts so this would be the minimum so they would all have to start at that height so i guess the thing here would be to wrap a, a lift around so we'll try i think i'm gonna aim have all these at the back so that's minimum so two three so no it has to be three so this would have to be four This would have to be three. And this would have to be two. And then this wouldn't exist. And then we just have to load these in a way that looks good. And so this one would probably end up going up and over. Two of these are, only one of them is on this upper level. So we'd have to do like a stack of lifts and they would come in probably at this point. So the highest would have to be last first. So this would be, it's like a weird accordion of stuff. This would be the first one. And this would have to be a lot closer. So that's the ground, and then the next level would be up higher. And then the next one would be here. So 
So that's how we would get this together. Is go it would go there to thing one. This would be two, and then this would be three. Again, overly complicated for what it needs to be. And then we would just need to make sure that this gets to there. And we would just have to make sure that this side was also looking cool. Uh, unfortunately, if this is going to be on the ground, then it may be just a matter of having having this go up and over. That looks all right. Like, it looks kind of cool. You just can't really walk past it. And that doesn't look the best. be no way to put a fence on that but we could do something like that too uh, we could also bump this whole thing forward and have it not clip into this because this this only takes up one foundation really so we could move this whole thing forward it just seems funny to have this kind of go up and over and then down when there's really no reason for it like this this here could easily just go straight into to this so I know and then I wouldn't need to raise everything up by three. So maybe we skip the middle one. And maybe this one is just a straight up bottom. And then we would start with this one. And then we do we would only have to go to there. There's just so much planning that eliminates that. Right? Um this could be the plastic straight in. We just have to get the lower level up top. I feel like the better way to do this one is probably going to be to have it come around this way. Unless I wanted to keep this space clear. That is annoying. There's always like one dimension I find that I forget about. And it's usually when I'm trying to layer belts vertically. We do have some room on either side. Uh, not much, though. Oh, that's not good. I forgot about that. Hmm.
Yeah, that's tricky. That's a cool view, though. And then I don't think I need this quite so large. I'd like to try to keep this as close to a mezzanine as possible, and I think... Yeah, the train could be bumped farther down, couldn't it? Also needs to be bumped over. Might as well do that while we're here. get this, but we'll try it. Cool if this was all open. Maybe we can install some sort of thing there and then train tracks to there. from down here. I forgot that the train was going to come in and kind of obstruct. So we may... It may be cool to leave open. We may want to tidy that up a bit. I think I had this freight coming in this side. Although it could be cool to see from the tracks as well. Looks like a cool part in the clouds there. It is overcast a lot. I find that they hide the project assembly a lot, which is strange. So still a little bit more thinking to do on pathing, but I think we're getting there. Obviously this is going to be out here. I would like to keep this if I can. Although, we could just bring it in and not worry about it. And actually have it stop right here. Which could be an interesting look as well. symmetry so again I just I really want this to be cool and right now I'm not entirely sold I think it might have been cooler the other way that we had it it just felt a little bit ridiculous
Those are going to stick out, aren't they? Yeah. Remember Total Eclipse talking about that? Like, they fit so nice and tidy inside of one foundation, but then the arms stick out. A bunch of stuff like that that I kind of wish they could have kept a little bit cleaner. That would be a really fun mod pack to play, th play with, is like, just little things like this. Like, everything is the same except for this arm just doesn't go outside of the box. And that everything just snaps a little bit cleaner and fits within certain foundations better. That would be an interesting mod pack to play. So most of this is actually roof. Feels very Minecrafty. Hi Joel, it's almost nighttime. More break? By the way, if I sound happy, it's only because Cosmic programmed this as my default tone of voice. I'm actually quite No Cosmic! What are you doing with that stick? Don't hit me! <laughs> I agree. I think it is time for a break. Uh, is the train coming? No, the train's all the way back there. Alright, we'll just make our own train. We will make our own train. Uh, transport train. I would love for them to come out with different cosmetic packs so that you could make different style of trains, like space train or old-fashioned train i think that would be a really interesting way for them to add like dlc to the game uh let's do orange Folks, I take a break once an hour. It is that time. I will be back in five or seven minutes. You get to ride the brake train. Thanks ever so much for being here. I will be right back.
Okay. I think we've left ourselves enough room to do the decorating and stuff, so I'm not too worried about that on the outside. I like the distance that this is now. Like, I feel like that's a, a healthier distance from the tracks, which is cool. And I guess the real thing now is just making sure we know... I can bring the plastic in from here, no problem. I don't know how I'm going to handle the roof, but this is going to be mostly decoration. And I really, I guess it's just a matter of, I think the only thing I'm not super happy with is the stairwell and what we're doing here, right? Just this part that feels weird. Does anybody in the chat have any ideas for here? I know it's hard to explain visually. I should also think about lights and not forget about where I might want to put lights in here. Generally speaking, they look better horizontally that way, but we do have enough room that we could do like a sub ceiling so I could potentially have like I mean, what I want here. Probably like... Like one there. Thankfully you can overlap them now. You never... They used to bump into each other and you can... You can avoid that now. like three is probably about right I'm just doing this for examples but add that over to here and we can mess around with that but I think that looks pretty cool and then we could also have like, uh, oh, I guess we have to be careful there. What is above this? Just nothing. So we could, depending on how we bring stuff down through here, all of this could be light management. So we could potentially have the lights a little bit higher. So this could actually end up being up here. So it hides some of the light, but we could then um, mess around with some stuff too. Because like this could be a ramp instead, for example. Uh, where's the... Mm, this one? Right, so you can add a little bit of... A Recessed lighting is kind of fun. Something like that could be kind of cool. And then we could also hide these and make it look cool and have colored lighting and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that could be kind of fun. Now we'd have to do something different underneath. 
Don't know how we do that. Maybe you end up putting them the other way. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so really the main concern is just trying to figure out how to make all this look... How this look good. And I don't know if I want to return to having everything sorted out here. Plastic coming down the middle seems like a good idea. And the cable going in the bottom seems like a good idea. It just feels a little bit strange. This like cascade, but then it goes up in a weird way. I guess we could go higher here. For no good reason. So then it's kind of like a one, two, three. just feels strange. I don't know how to fix it. But I would really like to get going on this. So I think what we'll do is we'll start to think about the initial machines. Uh, we have everything planned out here. So 120 copper ore and then smelters. So we'll start there. We know we need this stuff. And I know that I'm going to have to work around where the stuff is coming in. But I think that that's okay. So if we go back down to the smelters, I don't... I don't think I'm going to do a concrete platform here. I feel like it's going to be a tower and then a free sort of space out here. I think it might be time to remove this tree. Menu fatigue is a real thing. This is going to be a floor hole. Why is... I'm on the wrong... wrong thing. Now... Could... Hmm... It might be better to go straight... from the lift, so it might be actually better to have the lift come out the back here rather than a floor hole. Because if I want to decorate this with some sort of structure, kind of like we did on the front of Wheeljack, you know, like with the um, with the beams and stuff, or the pillars around it, so like this kind of a thing. Uh, like that around belt then it might be better to come out here. Uh, that's not going to match up. Six, one, two, three, four, five. No, okay, good. That'll make that easy. Don't remember how I 
I got that in the right position. I got to use foundation, maybe. how would I want that to look and then we just go mark to belt and instead of the wall we're gonna go all the way into the um, splitter that looks pretty cool with the yellow highlights and so I just don't know how to handle the other parts of it might have a limit. Um, I guess we'll do here. This is going to be enclosed. I guess it doesn't matter. fix that later, but it's essentially what I want to do. I kind of feel like I want to see that though. I don't know. Feels like it would be more fun to have that like visible. So maybe the tower is actually like built into the rock more? At which point we could just have it come straight out. I can't believe I can just jetpack up here. That's wild. We could probably still do something here. Maybe this has like a bottom to it. Whoops. We could then hide the merger, maybe? Yeah, that could be very tight. I'm not sure that would work. Probably not. Yeah, I feel like that's a better... better look? I don't know. Did we like the tower? Standing on its own? like that it just doesn't look supported so we may have to do something a little bit extra with it
I don't mind that. Penguin dude says to Cosmic, I'm fully on board with suggesting pink, even if it's not what he wants. <laughs> it's more about the form factor. I mean, Sunstreaker, not pink. Right? It's more about the f making it look like Cybertronian cool stuff. I don't know if I like this zigzag thing that I got going on. I feel like I need to have more of a straight right angle happening. So I feel like this should go up higher and then turn a corner. Obviously I can't get it to do the right thing right now, but you know what I mean. This should come up to here and just make like a right turn. But then I don't know how to do that uh, and then close it. Hmm. Maybe this goes into solid top and we just have to think about this going out this way Feels a little bit of a, like an overlap there. Uh, we could also flip it around and have the overlap happen inside here where it really won't matter. So we can do that too. Uh, this could continue to here. Why are you not doing the thing? There you go. Anyway, you see what I'm trying to do. So that goes there. That hides the, the break. We could still encase this if we wanted it to. I do miss the hover pack sometimes. pretty industrial we could also um, have some of it dark and some of it light I don't know about that I think the brighter color was probably better but we could have some sections of it 
maybe. I think that's okay. It feels very square. It's the only thing. I wonder if it would be better to have this go up into the bottom of the tower and then have the tower continue at this level. So like here, have this go actually in there and then have it come out the top. All right, problem for another day. Uh, where? Are we getting our power from is the next thing. So we can pull the power for the miner from the main thing. So we'll be pulling the power from the train station. Sweet. Power is coming from inside the house. That was silly. Why didn't I think of that? So really what we should do is think about where this train station is going to be and how it's going to work uh, so that I can pull the power from it. So we should hook that up and how am I going to do this? This is going to look really cool when it's done. Um, do we want more? I don't know how many. I know that it's two minutes, I think. We need... 108, no. 160 plastic per minute. So let's just do some quick math. 160 plastic per minute. That's not a lot. We can totally just do one train car. Um, one freight car has how many? Plastic stacks to 200? 200 times... 32 in a train Great car two three four five six seven eight thirty two hundred so 6400 so we've got 6400 plastic coming in potentially and that's exiting at 160 per minute equals 40 minutes. Yeah. So we only need the one car. And I wouldn't mind, not that the car needs to be in the middle, but if we only need the one car, we may also need a, um, a pickup. Like if we want um, to ship the computers out, which might be, well, this is really only making five per minute. I don't know that we need to ship the computers out on a train, but it might be worth just planning this to have the three, like this, this, and this, for whatever reason. We could use the train station to pick up Caterium, unless we wanted to have an additional train stop for Caterium. But this spur is probably going to be just this building. So Caterium coming in here could be good. For all the stickers that you have chosen, I am shocked that there is not a pancake one. I don't think there was a pancake one, Cosmic. I don't think there... We could make a pancake sticker. I didn't see one. I would have grabbed one. There was very little food. Most of it was like annoying stuff, like noises to kind of annoy your streamer, really. That is coming this way. So 
So there's a good chance we need to plan for two um, of these. And this is not the middle. The middle is here. So this needs to go back by half a foundation. I guess we can put the freight on the front. It might be fun to see it actually happening. That's right, this kind of cuts into the view, doesn't it? Do I care about that? I don't think that's a big deal. figure out the distance here and how we want to do this is it going to be a nice little s curve probably going to be a 45 degree angle be my guess so we'll go from How long is a is a train? I think it's the it two, roughly two. So I feel like we'd want the way in to come out to about here, and then from here is where we would start to turn things. should do is use the four meters. And then we just have to go over to here until we have can't remember whether we could do this on the way out or like I think we do right next to it right so it would make sense to try to attach here where it's supported and then we just have to figure out how far this can go Nope. I'm just gonna wait for the train to go by. Rhymer SDK, time for bed. Thanks for being here. Cheers. Always good to see you. Glad you're joining the streams. 
also not working. How far does it actually have to go? One, two, three, let's try four. So four works. Let's try, just do a little one to here. And we'll do one, two, three. So that's too close. And that's too close too. Wow. I just connected to the same spot, I think. So that goes off that way. Now this feels a little, little tight. Maybe I should go a little bit farther out to the right because we're gonna have to put two of those little um, supports in here. Do we think it should just go like from here almost immediately straight out? Pink run before they get you to. <laughs> well played. Uh, those are fun. Those are fun. Yeah. How? I feel like this should maybe go straight out at, at an angle. So let's just bring this a little bit further along. this should be pretty easy to find we can just go to 45 so from this block here we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight and then one two three four five six seven eight that might be the right one Yeah, I'd say that one right there. So then the question is, can we get that to turn? So probably not. Uh, we'd have to get that to turn. My guess would be onto this one, which looks like there. So then we should be able to just grab this Do it that way. Now from here, maybe we have to back up a little bit.
And that should still be the same grid. Yeah, okay. Now, can I get from here to there? Probably. That is too tight, so we'll have to go to the next one. We should be able to get this really snug here, so this could go to probably here. I think that works pretty well for me. I don't think it needs to be any tighter. So then down here, we just need to bring this to whatever the tightest is for here. And I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe we'll just go to there. don't know the best way to do 45s. I'm not keenest. That looks like it maybe could have gone back a little bit farther. Like So it's the middle of that one. That's the middle of the turn. This can maybe go back by half a foundation. That looks a little bit better. Uh, and so I would say we probably would want to put our support um, on this one. And that should be pretty easy to do. Uh, this is no block signal, no rail and no block signal. And there's already one there. I feel like we just need one more, maybe. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's honestly not bad. Maybe what I need to do is put it whoop, on this side of the curve instead. So I would say maybe here. Yeah, let's try there. Now we've got a spur on the track for the Sunstreaker factory. Get rid of all of this. Man, taking the time to set yourself up some blueprints for trains is absolutely worth the time. It becomes very quick. Get this sorted. Except for when you can't reach the delete.
Now, hopefully this still feels like it's got enough support. We, if not, we could always have something like extend from the building uh, in this position. This is probably going to be a decently thick wall. Right? But I feel like that, that feels all right. I would really like to put it on the angle, but I don't know if it's going to look good. Yeah, like I feel like this would be the best spot for it, but it feels a little bit strange. Uh, either way, this should have power now. And unfortunately, the power I think is right here. Yeah, good. That is the wrong color. Sweet. So we've got power coming in at that point. And so we'd bring the power probably down through here and the power would go this way. And this is the first floor. So like really there's only the one floor and the logistics floor. It's such a it's such a big building, but there's really only the one floor of machines. And then we have to figure out how to power these guys, but that is again probably something we can do with beams and something special. Not bad. So I feel like the plan for this, even though we didn't really build a lot today, has really come together. It's feeling more like a cohesive thought, for sure. Anyway, that's where I need to wrap things up. Uh, I'm going to pass you along to somebody else playing Satisfactory, so just let me find out who is streaming. Uh, Whoa Jess is streaming, so we'll send you all over to Whoa Jess. I'm sure you will very much enjoy their streams. Uh, I am going to be back tomorrow, Friday, for some uh, more Satisfactory. It'll be, I believe, the same time, 1 o'clock. Um, I, I don't, unless I start early, but we'll see. Uh, you can follow me on social media at Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. You can um, check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcasts, as well as the latest episode of Imp and Skiz uh, that's available on their YouTube channel. Uh, I've been doing a lot of podcasting lately, so there's lots of free content out there. Uh, Cosmic Dancer, thank you ever so much for moderating, and thank you so much for the lovely uh, stickers and support today. Uh, Dud Trap, thanks for the follow at the last second. Really appreciate it. I hope you've been enjoying the stream. Uh, there's lots of VODs over on Joel Duggan VODs. Uh, I try to post the VODs within the next um, 12 hours. So if you've missed the stream and you want to watch on YouTube, you absolutely can. Uh, don't forget to check out uh, things like the Patreon page to join the Discord if you'd like. I do share my blueprints on the Discord. I can happily share these train blueprints on the Discord as well. Uh, you can uh, follow here on Twitch and keep your eye out on social media, like I said, for for streams. I do let everybody know on Twitter and on Discord when I go live. So if you don't miss the Twitch uh, notifications, then you can at least catch them on uh, Twitter and on Discord. Uh, once again, thank you for a lovely afternoon, folks. I'm glad everyone's enjoying this playthrough and the Transformer theme. And uh, what I'm trying to do is basically like practice building and trying to get better at laying factories out, stuff like that. Uh, it's a slow process, but it's a fun process. So thanks again, folks. I will see you tomorrow at one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus three hours. Bye for now.